Hey guys, Stoop here from Your Stupidity. Um, we finally made the move to Horde. And uh, I've got my friend here with me who will introduce himself. Hey, I'm Adash, and uh, I'm happy to be here with you two today. Cool, man. So, what do you think then, Adash? Should we go and try and do our first 10k? Yeah, let's see how good these guys are. Alright, brilliant. Let's go. So, funny thing for all you viewers. Um, because we've j literally just converted, we haven't been able to sort out our Raider IO, have we, Asta? No, it's... And then it's getting a little bit hard to get into plus tens when people yeah. can't see Raid IO. Definitely. So what we've decided is, for our first Horde side key, we'll just do my crappy seven that's been downgraded and see how well Horde characters and Horde players actually do dungeons. Yeah, exactly. You want to do a ready check? See if the tank's ready now. Yeah, I would do so. You want a pull time on as well? Uh, we shouldn't need one. We don't have a demon hunter. True. So I think it's nice to have, to be honest, just for the um, for the sake of people people being prepared. Yeah. No issue with it, like. Let's go. Almost put the wrong pet on straight away. Great job, bro. <laughs> Great job. Um, I'm interested in seeing if this guy is going to uh, like do the do the big guy and do the do the small pack over here first, uh, or he's gonna. He actually ah okay interesting. Like that that's a that's a pack where like this is a pool where we need to be very much aware of the interrupts and stuns. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little bit of hor horrible experience for me at least. Yeah, I mean. The big guy's normally annoying for me anyway. Yeah. Because he's constantly spitting out all this fucking acid. And it is hard to keep track of all of these bloody ads. Oh, the shades. A lot of the time. Like, this, this week the shades are, are nasty on, on small corridors like these. Like where you can't we can't really run anywhere without pulling anything. So But you have your mask done, don't you? I do, yeah. Um, I'm a little bit embarrassed by my DPS on that first pull, to be honest. So I'm gonna have to work a bit harder. Just like always, bro. Just like always. <laughs> oh, thanks. You Love, know I'm your boy. I appreciate that shit right there. Yo. Just call me up if you if you're being hunted by the shade. I still have my uh, my vortex for you. Yeah, I'm getting hunted, but I can fear. Ah, just kill him. Smack him in the dome. So far, I see I see a lot more interrupts on the, the hot side right now than I normally do on the well, online side, actually. Yeah, I mean, more interrupts, and I mean, as a general thing, their DPS at the moment is so much better than what I've seen on low keys for Alliance. Yeah, agreed. But you could say the tank, like the, the tank, also said he he was normally doing like 13s and stuff. Yeah. So I think I think the monk was his friend. As, oh shit, uh, the monk was his friend. Uh, his friend. So he should probably he should be pulling high DPS. I Which would way say. are they going with this though? Because this is the other thing that we didn't think of. They may actually have different routes to what we're used to. Ah, uh, yeah, you're actually right. They maybe do. Ooh, I have, a, I have a feeling this guy's just gonna pull the entire room. Okay, he's not. No, okay, he's not. That's a new one. No, because, I mean, we've got a lot of ghosts or shades to contend with when all this dies. Oh, yeah, we, we, we do, but we still have, like, we still have a druid. druid we've got the a big guy. Yeah, I see it, see it. We still have a druid for the vortex, and we have a, like, I can mass and... and like mash do that, like mash root stuff. Uh, I'm yeah, gonna, nothing I, too major with that. To be honest, I was happy with that pull. 
Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I, I, I don't think he ma it meant to pull the big guy, but I could be wrong. It didn't, it didn't seem like he was meant to. Just gonna... Okay, I can, I can vortex the, this pack if we, uh, we it down. Yep, vortex on. Rooting them, just to make sure. You can just let them die here, we don't need to attack them. Yeah, no, I always put dots on them because it helps build up my shard resources. Smart thing though. Didn't, for, didn't, didn't think about that. Mate, I'm telling you now, since I changed to Affliction from Destruction, and I've gone heavy into actually researching the better ways of doing it, um, dot management is such a thing, especially with Shadows Embrace. Yeah. I just realized I got the, I got the Guardian Infinity on. I should have taken Feral Infinity. Is that one of your raid talents from earlier, is it? Yeah, it's 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 the raid talent from earlier. It's just because in the raid it's so handy to have the Garden Infinity when you need to soak stuff. Cause like I can go into I can go into Guardian Infinity and then I can use my refresh refresh during raid. So Let's take a look at this new class ability. Let's see how bad as it is. Something, bro. It's not bad. I enjoyed that burst of haste. We need um, roots on the big guy. Yeah, I'll root the big guy. Vortex the small ones. I'm out of range. With the big guy. Nice one. Nice, yeah, that went down quite well. I mean, really that Jin monk's pulling out some good DPS, and to be fair, so's the monk tank, even on single target. 1.8, yeah. He's not taking much damage either, like 2.3. That's acceptable. Another monk that no really knows how to play his class, I would say. Yeah, I would say so as well. Didn't get that spell out in time. See, this is the only problem with Affliction Warlocks. It's such a build-up. And I mean, in higher keys, it's not so bad because mobs stay alive a bit longer. Yeah, so you get more damage output potential. Yeah. Whereas, low keys, I would still, still say Destruction's the way to go. Yeah, because it's so short-fighted. Yeah, I mean, it's just mass. You know, if you've got the right build on with your Infernal, Reign of Fire, Chaos Reign, and Kata, it's just such a mass AoE class for low keys where things die quick. Yeah. That could be why we had so much success with it, like in the uh, in the lower key keys. Oof. That guy, but that guy, guy got twatted. Yeah, he stood in the ghost too long. Yeah. He did. Can't save him. Tranquility up. We're gonna have a new problem. Okay, I've got a shade on me. Okay, mess rooting. Yeah, I like the stroll ability, like this new, uh, this haste one. And the other thing with Affliction as well is, um, like I said, I've, I've recently been getting really into how to play it properly. Mm -hmm. You actually have to shard snipe to help build up your shards. And what I mean by that is, is my drain soul um, does more damage when targets are under 20% health. Yeah. But on top of that, if the target dies when you're doing Drain Soul, 
then you get shards back. And it's the same as if it has your haunt ability or no, the um, unstable affliction ability. It gets your haunt back, uh, gets your shards back up. Yeah. But he definitely, uh, Tank knows what he's doing. I think the others are a little surprised about our pulls. Yeah. The tank's pulls. It seems like, it seemed they that wasn't way. expecting it. I do agree. It, it seems that way. They didn't seem like they were catching up very quickly. I haven't got another interrupt yet. I got three seconds. That's fine. I have an uh, dispel. Remove that one. Gonna remove the second one as well. Just dirt him and we can run. He's a master. Yep. I think that's, that's a good idea. I mean, I can battle res him, but he really should have just released. He should. You see Artem? Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe he'll come and check out the video that we're making now tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, what is it now? It's it's 12 o'clock at night here in the UK. What's it with you, Asda? It's, it's around 2. Oh, Christ. Around 2 so, o'clock yeah, here. I mean, by the time we get this video edited and copied, I don't think it'll be up until tomorrow anyway. Definitely not. It's already tomorrow for me, so... <laughs> yeah, true. It doesn't until... matter too much. It's 10 to 12, yeah, so yeah, I, I do agree with you. Interesting, he's going the middle route. So I, I attempt to see yeah, more and more, I, mean, I, I like, attempt to see more and more people go for the middle route instead of the, uh, like, all the way to the side. Oops, I'm gonna break that guy's CC. Uh, like a noob. Like a nap. Um, yeah, I mean, Loki's, I don't see the point in trying to do cheeky skips when people, uh, cheeky skips, when people aren't necessarily aware of them all. I mean, whenever I do this on a higher level, I prefer people not to do the skip, because nine times out of ten, they miss out on trash, and then you've missed a percentage and have to run back. Yeah, like... I also, I also see in like the, the 13s and stuff I'm doing, I'm also seeing that people are just taking the middle route from now on. And I think it's it's for the same reasons you just you just listed there, because people are not up to date with all of it. And yeah. maybe not, like, it's like if you run uh, through the wall and you miss them a little bit, you have a chance of falling into the range of one of the tentacles and pull them. There's that, but I mean, there's also a part where if you go around to the right, which I'll try and show in a little bit, um, that nine times out of ten, you're going to pull extra trash that you can't see because it's underneath the hill. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, that would make sense, yeah, definitely. Fucking volcanic, man. Every time I'm trying to get a cast off, it messes me up. Just don't want you to DP at DPS. Okay, we've got abs in the back that haven't moved fully across. Yeah, I see it. And he's put a ring on them as well, which isn't gonna help. It doesn't help anymore. No. Mass done the shades. Got one of my own feared. That's nice. Mm. 
I don't like. Yeah, I know the the table over like over there, the first island. You can do you could do an alchemy thingy on that one and get a get a haste buff. I just haven't take uh, like giving myself the time to learn it yet. Oh right, I didn't actually know about that. Yeah, like right over there. I know like some of the guys are running with do it from time to time. But it's not it's not a common thing I've seen people do, to be honest. Not even on higher keys. Oh, boss incoming, mate. Oh. I mean, it's quite well timed. <laughs> that was actually very well timed, I do agree. Pump some extra TPS out of here. Yeah, remember to focus the plague bomb. Otherwise, it will one bang us. Yeah. Tanks not on the boss. Oh no. Sorry, I got the interrupt, so we went. Thank you very much. Yeah, so, it's like that that thing, that thing happens when the tank is not melee, like in melee range of the uh, the boss. He starts yeah, past that one. Yeah, but the funny thing is, I've actually seen a few tanks not do it, not get to him, and he's getting those casks off, and it's like, I, I don't get why the tanks think that's a common practice. Yeah, I don't it know just... either. Like, cause for he like for healer's perspective. It's really annoying because it gives you a debuff that stacks up. Oh, Jesus Christ, he just wants to jump on me all the time. Yep. Uh, tank's not on him. Not on him. I got it. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, and for the people that don't know, like there's, uh, there's this, this purple blob over here uh, that will spawn with... Um, with the explosive orb where I'm standing right now, uh, the tank needs to pull to pull the purple blob away because it gives a shield to the bomb. Yeah, but they also still have to engage the boss. <laughs> yeah, they do. So it's, it's, it's like it's like multitasking. Yeah, when you, it's when you get the hang of it, it's actually not. When you get the hang okay, of it, it's so not too hard. Fucked up here. Tank's gone off to the right. That guy's engaged the tentacle. Uh, I think he only uh, he only get, only engaged the slime. But the tank engaged it now. Yeah, I think he thought it was engaged like I did. Could be. I actually forgot to bring bring water this time. How could you forget? Because I'm normally running with mage. I'm normally always I always have mage food on me. It's so much easier. Ken, I don't have a fear for that. I have to fear the guy that was shielding. Yeah. Sorry, Asta. See, I'm See, already yeah. mucking up. I'm calling you by the wrong name. <laughs> I've it's got one on me. I'm gonna gone be the on you, on you. Uh, got it. Think do I? Yeah, I got it. Okay, so because he's gone to the middle, he should have just gone to the middle. Yeah, he should. There was no need to come to the right whatsoever at that point. No. Maybe for the percentage thing. He's maybe percentage running some. Percentage is fine though. Yeah, it is. I don't know if he's running like some weird percentage game or something. Uh, I got another one, so I'm gonna fear it so it stays away from me. And do some raptures to kill yeah. some of them off. Is that the vortex if you need it? So I long think... as you have. I wanna say it's 85% by the time you've killed this next boss. Your percentage is absolutely fine. Yeah, because you give you, you will be giving around, I think it's 15 or 20% when you get down there to the last boss. Yeah. Because I mean, you've still got what? 
the, the first shaded spider and then the two packs either side. Yeah, exactly. So the one thing to keep an eye on with the spider guys, he'll spew out loads of little ones. And uh, if they get their cast off, it will will one bang you. There isn't a way around it. Unless you're yeah. very highly geared and you've got a, like, I don't know, a very good healer like Asda here, prepared for it. As a healer, you need to be prepared, like prepared for it. Um, and now I, I have the advantage of being a druid, so when I can see it's nearly good, nearly going off, I can just uh, vortex it. That means that we go straight back again. So there, 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 ninja jump, whatever you want to call it, doesn't doesn't affect us too much. So as the viewers watching the stream can see, I ran out of shards, so I wasn't able to get my seed of corruption in there to mass put, yeah, you know, put corruption on everything there. And I lost a bit of damage, so I'm gonna have to shard snipe. But watching out for these ickle spiders and ghosts. Just ignore the ghost guys. Go for the next pack. Come on. We need a man. We need a man. We got a man. Oh, now. we're down a man. Yeah, we're down a man. Didn't even notice that, mate. Mm, he walked in and got one banged. <laughs> you know, just like all the others. Oh, here we go. Yep, see it. Double ring, wow. I've got nothing for those spiders there. Uh, the Spider major down. spiders at the moment. Good push. You interrupted the shield? Ooh, I just managed to get uh, some shard sniping on that one right there. Yeah, I would heal on this one. As you command, my healing friend. Yes, yes. We actually forgot to heal on the first bus, didn't we? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't think we needed it. We didn't. We didn't need it. But like, no, normally, normally we we do that. Ooh, I'm gonna run for the back one here. Oh, he mass stunned everybody. Shite. Class ability activated. Yeah, I I don't think um, some of these guys actually are used to doing big pulls and high keys. Doesn't seem. Unfortunately. That way. Just oh, because of the, 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 the silly little things, you know, like putting that stun in on everybody, that's not necessarily a, a manoeuvre someone that knows this dungeon would do. Nah, I wouldn't say so. Uh, just nuke him down, nuke him yeah, down. Yeah, just focus, boss. We can defence it. Yeah, I can, I can defend it. Yeah, see, see. So, for that fight, guys, you can see the, the webbed floors. Um, they hide stealth spiders, uh, assassins. Though that they throw those knives or tentacles or whatever the fuck it is they're throwing, um, but that causes bleed and that bleed damage stacks, so that's why you need the tank to be moving to it, so we can get them out of stealth and kill them before they kill everyone. Yep. And now um, I want to know if this tank. Oh shit! I got a shade. See it. Um, I want to know if this tank's gonna do this room backwards like we should. That's a good question. Yeah. Nope, he's going straight in. <laughs> okay, so the route you can see now, there's pack in front of us and then the pack to the right, immediately to the right, um, but further back. They come at you in order. Look, you can already see those skeletons are going to be on the move now in a second towards us. 
if you sneak around to the left and go and take care of the last pack first, you can take them before they start marching. Oh, I've got the wrong pet on to interrupt because I had it for that last boss. Shit. Got a shit on me. I feared it. Nice, thank you. I've got one on me, but it's fine. It's almost dead. Yeah. Trying to get some resources off these guys. I'm trying to just kite them. People are taking a lot of damage, actually. It's uh, quite annoying, especially the boomy. That could also be why my mana's running so low at the moment. Yeah. I mean, we had to defense um, that last rooting, bit on that rooting. last boss. Yeah. So I had to feed him. So, I mean, you burnt quite a lot of mana right there. I did, yeah. I got the one on you. Great. Great, great. Let's Build those shards for this last fight. Let's see if these guys uh, can figure out how to dodge the tentacles. Um, if I can dodge tentacles, should be your main worry. <laughs> yeah, true. But like that's all. That's always the problem with the dungeon. It's like people having a hard time do uh, like dodging the tentacles. And the thing is, the tentacles are not that hard to dodge. That was quick. Yeah, I popped everything, mate. But the problem is, by the time I've got all my dots and shit on something, like her, um, she's dead. Yeah. Or not dead, she buggers off, you know, and it, it sort of messes up my damage rotation. You know what you mean? Here we go. Stack all these debuffs back on her. Get as much as you can and dots on it and then just spam Rapture. Uh, my legendary, my Rapture, oh shit. Uh, my Rapture actually increases my drain soul damage. Um, and it can stack up to three times. So I mean, really helpful. What legendary are you running there, Asda? Uh, like for dungeons, I'm running the uh, the life bloom one. So it means my my life bloom overall heals like 10% less, but I can have two of them. And right. it's like it's it's the perfect like the life bloom one is the perfect one for dungeons because of the talent. Uh, made a uh, like. Oh, wow. I just got out of that shit. Nice. That was um. Like because a of bit our of last right there. Like because of our last talent, like our last talent made it make it so that. Our priority heal heals like 20% more if I put it on the t uh, like put it on, uh, on the moving. tank, and if I put it on myself, my text my thing is going quicker. Wow. Yeah, sorry, my bad. I my sticky mouse button caught me off there. It's totally fair, bro. I was about to get Easy. caught off guard as well. Easy seven. Easy peasy. And um, we plus two it, so that makes it a nine. Easy. I'm still no gear for over a week, Asda. That's so annoying me. The gods of RNG do not like me, as you well know. They really don't. And haste is your worst enemy. Like, haste... Getting haste gear is your worst enemy in the game right now. Fucking hell, like... You can't, like, no matter what we do, we can't get a haste piece for you. Or at least it's very fucking tough. Yeah, I mean, every time I get a bit of haste, like my great vault will give me an item that's higher in eye level, but lower in um, haste. So I, it's a tricky thing for me at the moment is managing my eye level with the stats that you need as a warlock. Yeah. So come on then, Ken. Um, 
our first dungeon, I know it was only a 7, so there wasn't anything too tricky. What do you think to going on to the Horde side, compared to low keys on Alliance? Oh, a lot more interrupts. I, li I like the way that there was a lot more interrupts, and the, f the dungeons felt so much more smooth. Um, and there wasn't, like... We made we made some we made some really bad um, like really bad pulls and some mistakes along the way, but it seemed like the tank uh, he actually got himself quite well on this one, and people figured out how to how how to play around the thing when they could see like oh shit the healer is having a little bit of a trouble here or maybe we should uh, like use our AOE stuns and stuff like that to uh, help out. I yeah. don't see that too much on the Alliance side, to be honest, and I feel that's, that's too sad. To be honest, the interrupts that I've seen in this low-key now, and I know, okay, so yeah, the tank made a few tiny mistakes, like not actively tanking uh, the boss with the orb, so the cast were getting off, so I had to do the interrupt. Um, could you answer him for me, please? Oh, hang on, I'll do it. Um, I... But the one thing I did notice... There we go. Just had to answer the tank. Uh, he wanted to see, check out the channel, which is brilliant. I hope he joins. I do as um, well. But yeah, there were a lot more interrupts. I mean, that Jin Monk DPS, um, for the most part, and again, yes, Monk, um, you know, they can do that three-way split and mass AoE. But I honestly don't think anyone really struggled. Yes, some people got one banged. I think that was because they tunnel visioned uh, mobs and got smashed by the shades. Yeah, I do agree. I, I didn't feel I was I was struggling at all in the dungeon. Like there was one point in the beginning there where I needed to use my berserking, but otherwise, no, uh, we did very well. Yeah, and I mean, as for my racial talent, the um, hang on, let me pull it up yet. It's uh, yeah, berserking gives me that 10% uh, haste for 12 seconds made things so much easier. I mean, I don't know if you saw on the bosses, like, my DPS was climbing again. But again, because it's such a low key, it dies off before I can get the full range of my pandemic uh, dots and burst it up, you know? Yeah. But I mean, as an overall instant comparison from low keys to Alliance to low keys to Horde, so far Horde are winning. Yeah, I would say so as well. It, not even a little bit, they are winning quite strong. Yeah, and I mean, there seem to be so many more tanks and healers, as we discussed earlier when we were trying to find ourselves a 10. Yep. You don't seem to be waiting for those mysterious tanks to appear, and then unfortunately, 9 times out of 10, especially on Lokis, be disappointed that your key gets downgraded. Yeah, like, I, f I felt it also, like, n I haven't played low keys uh, for a while now, um, so I probably don't have ed uh, as, good of view, uh, as good as a view as you do on the, like, on the low keys right now. Um, You're trying uh, to say yeah. I do nothing but low keys, thanks. Yeah, I bet that's what I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but, like, I was also, th like, feeling in the plus 11s and t 12s I did on the lion side, you could, like... Half of the time you actually met a tank that actually didn't know what he was doing. Like, mm. you, you walked in, and then you asked him, oh, you, do, you know what you're doing, and, and like, you know the route stuff. He's like, oh yeah, of, of course I do. And then when you get, like, half through the dungeon, you figure out that he actually don't have a clue about when should you drop this uh, prideful or anything like that. Yeah. It's just, ugh. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, so far, I know it was only a low-key, like I said. But I'm quite happy we made the move over here with our mains. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a good fresh start, and I think it would m make uh, it a lot easier for us to push progression. Mm -hmm. So I mean, let's face it. Back in BFA, um, even before pre-patch, me and you were pushing twenties, twenty-two keys yeah. on the alliance side. But that was at the end of BFA, where. You know, Alliance had so much time and effort put into the keys that everyone knew what they were, roughly what they had to do. But coming over to Shadowlands, Alliance at the moment are failing where Horde seemed to be thriving. Yeah, I do agree. Yeah. Well, there we are, guys. Thanks for very much for uh, for watching the channel. Um, obviously, we, as you can see, we, uh, we're going to be streaming every Wednesday 
Thursdays and Fridays are going to be our guild, uh, when we move our guild over here, I should say, they're going to be our guild run nights for uh, the raid. And we will be doing Castle Nathra on Heroic. Um, we actually got Lady down tonight on uh, Heroic with the alley before we moved over. So uh, yeah, hit that follow button, hit that like button, come join us in the stream. Asda, thanks very much for doing this key with me tonight. Thank and, you. Uh, uh, thanks because uh, I'm happy I must, I must be here. Brilliant. So yeah, uh, it, it gives our viewers a different perspective. They can see what it's like from a healer and from a ranged DPS. Yeah. So that's what we're going to try and carry on doing, hopefully. Yeah, let's see how, how far we can go. Yeah, brilliant. All right, then. Once again, everyone, thanks very much for joining us. Hope to see you in the stream. We will see you next time. Bye.